Experience the most challenging race in the world, traveling with the most awarded airline of South America, LAN. Stage 5 in this 2010 Dakar will no doubt be pivotal for the remainder of the competition. In the motorbike category, one could actually already have a winner. A leg and a broken wheel have seriously dented two of the favourite's title hopes. David Castor, first of all, was forced to quit following an unfortunate crash. The Sherco driver was evacuated with a broken leg and a heartache. It's the first time in his seven appearances the Frenchman crashes out of the race. Marcoma is still here, but will need a miracle to add more silverware to his trophy cabinet. The Spaniard lost another 40 minutes due to a broken wheel. Italy's Luca Manca was kind enough to lend him a spare, but Coma now trails one hour and 16 minutes adrift of Cyril Depre. The Frenchman had a pretty quiet day and took no risks, staying within range of the winner of the day. For the first special stage starting and finishing in Chile, local hero Francisco Lopez shone on home soil, just as he did last year. It's his second win on the Dakar, which enables him to move up to second in the overall standings, yet 37 minutes adrift of Depre. Meanwhile, the cars had just as much trouble on Wednesday. Volkswagen had aimed to make another stand and so they did. The Germans took the podium by storm as three blue cars finished in the top three places. Despite being in the lead since Monday, nine times Dakar winner Stefan Petteransel was betrayed by his machine. After 135 kilometers in the special stage, the Frenchman had to pull over to fix a mechanical problem. A few kilometers later, he had to stop once again due to a technical failure. In the end, Petteransel lost over two hours and his remaining hopes of silverware. The final win should be disputed amongst the Volkswagens. Wednesday saw Mark Miller claim victory and Carlos Sainz make a leap in the overall standings. After an unfortunate Dakar in 2009 with several second place finishes, Miller finally adds a stage win to his list of Dakar achievements. The American finished a day ahead of teammates Carlos Sainz and Nasser Al Atia. But the Spaniard was the real winner of the day as he made the most of Petter Ansel's misfortunes to claim top spot in the overall standings. Four and a half minutes ahead of Al Atia and nearly ten minutes ahead of Miller. In fourth place, Robbie Gordon trails over an hour adrift. <laughs>